and welcome to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Gentleman, the podcast that deals with the early life of J.R. Hendrick. And now, this is his father, Jim Hendrick, on the Blake Carter Show, and the first hour taped live at Texas Christian University Auditorium. Carter Show. Well, after Super Tuesday, it's over. It's over. Bob Dole is the official, at this point, close to being the official nominee. And Pat Buchanan has dropped out of the race. We're here with Administrator for Liaison for the Small Business Administration. And the administrator for the Entrepreneurial Affairs Administration, James Ryan Hendrick, currently on leave of absence. Jim, how are you? <laughs> well, I can't. I got to say less than thrilled. Jim, um, first order of business. Pat Buchanan has declined to... Pat Buchanan endorsed Bob Dole. Which I hope he reclined. They're trying. What's up with these people? Well, we don't know that there's really that much of a choice in the party's running. And personally, I mean, I think it's sad. I mean, Phil Brown was my choice for nominee. Because I wasn't sure he was co-opted by the Ivy Leagues. Uh, Dole, I'm not sure how much of a conservative he is. And to, to tell you the truth, it's kind of it's kind of idiotically sad when you got a country. Uh, the economic outlook so far for the first week of March is not good. All right. Bill Clinton, I haven't seen him do much of nothing. Not since he signed that damn Telecom Act of 1996, which, if you ask me, it's a disaster. It gives more corporates the power and less power to small business. And another, and of course, another order of business, which um, a law professor from Morris, from BYU, or rather a lawyer named by the name of Morris Fiorina. He's filed a motion in the district, uh, um, D.C. District Court of Appeals to try to get them to have Congress not block their faith-based uh, initiatives. C- can you tell me why some members of Congress might be blocking it? Maybe because it's um, some kind of fashion idea they got against Christians. They think that we're the only ones that's reached. I've, I've talked to every one of the policy research team in the SBA, and everyone agrees that it creatures across, across the lines. Jews, Christ, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, whatever religion. But yet these liberals, and I think some on both sides of the aisle, is going to be a problem. Namely, uh, Cordell Wheeler. I've had people call me and tell me today in Washington, they see that he is planning a filibuster again in the Senate. If that happens, I won't go to any more teas in his house. Blake, it would just be easier for me to just hang out with you. (laughs) Ain't that the truth? So, what does that mean to you if both sustainability and faith based dies in the Senate. Well, let's hope that this, I don't like to have to resort to the courts. Obviously, this man did this possibly on behalf of me. I'm not personally going to like to sue in the courts myself. 
So if he thinks he can, can succeed, fine. If not, let me tell you something. If if I lose this one, that's fine. I'll go. But I ain't going quietly. <laughs> Clinton thinks that I'm getting everybody all on ladder. Well, that's what he thinks. He thinks that if I win it all in my legislative deal, there's other ways besides legislation. Yeah. I can implement it as policy. Have you spoken to anyone about that? Phil later said he'd be willing to cooperate so long as he gets a, a cut somewhere else to go towards spending. That's not happening. Not even sure the president's going to go towards that. You, you blame Bosnia. Yes, I blame Bosnia. I blame Bill Clinton put us in a, in a dang quagmire. That's what. And if Dole's the nominee, we're sunk. That's all I got to say. We're sunk. We, we, we don't have a leg to stand on. Thank you, Jim.